I'm going to be showing you some of the pages that I have set up in my life planner and I'm going to be doing some page setup with you on camera right now. But first, this is not going to be a full walkthrough of all the guts inside the setup that I have for this agenda. If you want to see that video, which is kind of like a part one to this, I would click on the card up above and then you can come back to this video afterwards. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the first thing that I want to set up with you. And this is going to be the page that I'm going to set up on camera. And I'm going to pull these inserts out. These are the stickers I'm going to use. I'm going to pull these out. And I had already pre-cut all these inserts so that I don't have to open and close the rings. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side to make room. And I'm just going to work with this. Now I have these stickers from Planner Kate. These are designed for the compact vertical, which is the planner that I am using, the layout that I'm using for July through whenever I stop using it, because let's be honest, I'm not sure if I will stick with it for 12 months. I thought this would actually be perfect because there, if I got two sheets, there would be eight boxes and I got them both the identical colors because these colors I like, and these were in the in bloom colors. So what I want to do with this is I want to create a Moxie Life Goals annual page spread for my Moxie Life Goals because my plan with this planner is to make sure to incorporate my Moxie Life system into my actual weekly planner so that I can stay on top of it. So I don't ever really use these boxes with the calendar. I have a different planner that I am using for like keeping track of all the appointments and all the things. And there, it's a much bigger planner. It's a, a Laurel Denise eight and a half by 11. And those boxes are like huge. And so in there I have calendars like this to reference that I could use. I don't need this right now, but I have a phone. I can just use that if I need anything like past whatever I have on paper. So I'm not worried about not having this. Plus I like the idea of the tab saying 2023, 2024 on here. And that actually kind of signifying to me, like these are my goals and it being on that tab page is kind of cool. I'm going to be laying these stickers down first, and then I'm going to be laying these lines, one, lined ones on top of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so that you can kind of see this so that I can actually focus and concentrate on getting this set up right. This looks so cool. So this is going to end up looking like this. So I'm going to go ahead and like kind of just jump to me having this one done. Ta-da! Okay, I love how this looks. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back into my planner. Yay! Okay, I'm not going to write anything on here because I think I know of a shop that sells like black scripts that have the names of the Moxie Life goals. So I'm gonna hold off on writing it until I can see if I can just get that and I'll just use those. Because again, this is more like a duplicate so that I can keep them here and I already have them written down somewhere else. So it's not like absolutely necessary for me to have that right now. But I think this is super cool. I've never seen anybody do anything like this to this particular page. And I think this is like perfect for it. So on this, I have no idea yet what I'm going to do with these boxes. So if I do come up with an idea for this, I will definitely like share it either in a YouTube or like over on Instagram. And then here I have a sticker from Planner Kate that I put on here that is a year in pixels. It is sticker sheet. 111B in the A5 size. You can also get this in the 7x9 size. 
my plan for this is to track like how many yoga minutes I am spending. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna, I haven't figured out what my color codes are going to be just yet, but I want to pick color codes to designate like between zero and five minutes, six to 10 minutes, you know, and so on. And then depending on how long the practice is, that's what the color is going to be put in. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could redate this so that it's a July start, but because I do have already six month backlog of um, yoga practice, I really want to see this like halfway filled out. So I will fill that in at a different time. Not now. I'll likely do it kind of like a reel probably for Instagram. So again, like you can see that over there. If you want to see that filled out, I want to pick like some colors that are going to look nice together. So at the end of the year, it's just going to look like super cool. On this page for my social media, I already kind of set this up. I redated it. I have these like tabs that, um, tab stickers. These are meant to be for like planner tabs or like removable tabs. And I redated it so that it started in July. And I'm really just going to track my YouTube channel subscribers, Instagram followers, and email subscribers on that. And I'm not sure yet how I'm going to use these. And with this listed as Q123, I may not keep that there. I don't know yet. But for now, that's what I'm going to use. And then on this page, I put, this is supposed to be like the tab page for the month that has the asterisk on it. But I decided to put the entire like square instead of just the circle because this is just a circle sticker. But I cut the sheet and stuck it on there because otherwise it would have peeked through the July and it would have looked weird. So I did it that way and I think it looks good. This is a sticker from Alexandra Nicole Plans. I'm not going to be coming to this every single day. I know that what I'll do is I'll probably come to it once a week and fill it out. And like in my daily planner is where I'm going to be trying to keep track of the things in there. And then I can return to this so that I can like fill it out because it's really easy to like not remember how often you're doing something. And especially with, with, my reflections, a lot of my goals are like a daily thing, a daily habit. So I need to be able to see it all. And I think it'd be cool at the end of the month when I'm doing like my month reflection to kind of see over the whole month, how well did I do up until now, I've really been doing really well about like, I shouldn't say really well, because there are some days where I just don't track it. But I've been pretty good about making sure that I'm doing the things that I want to do regularly. But I haven't had a good reference for like seeing it all in one spot. And I think having a monthly tracker is going to be helpful, even if I don't return to it every day to fill it out, because I know I just will not. Since I rely on my daily planner, I'm going to have that in there on a daily. And then I'll have to come back and check it all off in here. At, I think at the end of the week is probably best since I also have to do weekly reflections. I did partially set this up. I am not yet sure how I am going to use this calendar since I do have another main calendar. I am thinking about the idea of potentially using this like how I use that one and just to kind of see like can I get away with using a small one? I might. So I'm not sure yet. I did have the idea that maybe I could use this as a monthly cleaning calendar like I used to have in the past. I have videos about that if you want to see it. I'll pop a card up here for one of those videos. But like right now I'm not in a season where like I really give a crap <laughs> about like how like rigid my cleaning schedule is. So I, I might not do that. But I did I really wanted to get the sheet because Planner Kate makes different sizes. So like she makes an A5 sheet for the coil planners and then it makes an A5 for the Oh look, this is for the coil planner. That's why this didn't fit right. I was about to say like she makes it for the coil planner and then she also makes it for the ring. I swore I ordered it for the ring. Maybe I didn't. I'm going to have to like check my order and make sure and maybe they gave me the wrong one. But when I did lay this down, I did notice that I had I placed it all the way up to the edge of the paper and it still kind of got into the little circle. So I'm assuming that with the proper one which is supposed to be for the rings, it wasn't going to 
go in to that. So I don't know. Oh yeah, I can't believe I just realized that now after I already like put that on there. So yeah, I'm gonna need to go check my order and make sure that they didn't just send me the wrong one. I just wanted to kind of see how it fit. And now I clearly see why there's a different one for the coil versus this one because this one ends up going into there. This page, I added another notes page in here so that I could do my Moxie Life goals. And I did use a um, another planner kit, kit and this was kit 421. It was for, it said Q2 on it. And then it said sheet number two. So it was this setup where you have all the different areas of life. And then it also included the monthly reflections, which I stuck back here on this line notes page that's at the end of the week. So that's how I have that set up. So that's already set up for July, ready for me to write my goals in here, which I've already written my goals in the actual compact, uh, I mean the companion notebook for my Moxie Life. I just haven't transferred it into here yet. And then um, when the month's over, I've already got the reflections filled out. Like the idea is that as I'm using the planner and then I turn the page and I see, Oh yeah, it's time for me to do my monthly reflections so that I do not forget. So at the back of that, I have a lined page here that I have marked off to use for a brain dump, which I may or may not end up needing. It just really depends. Sometimes I have a lot of stuff on my mind, so I want to have a space for jotting stuff like that down. And then on here, this is the um, social media page from Point Hunt that came with that other insert you saw earlier and this is the same for every month this one i just set up the calendar so that it is accurate for july and i will be using this to keep track of when i have my videos posted and on the back here is where i'm planning to use to write out information related to affiliate and collaborations and things like that and on this page i still don't know what i'm going to do with so that's basically it for all the pages that i wanted to set up in my life planner so i'm basically ready to go ahead and plan a week and if you want to see that video go ahead and click this one right here and i'll see you there bye